zone. All we gotta do is hit this ridge right here, cut across, and he's right there. Okay. Hit that ridge. Yeah, right there, that we can see. We love, we love. Him again. Chance you get me. Doctor gun off, he's still hot. Doctor gun off, he's still hot. Find him. See that? Boom, right on him. <laughs> <gasps> that thing was tough. Did he take some lead? He did. He had to. Let's go see what it looks like. Let's do it. Let's go a little slow. Let's go ahead and top the gun dog. Okay. <gasps> Take his bear on the mountain. I'd be. Let's go up and look at him.
that worked out well. Huh? I said that worked out well. Hey, you know what the good thing about this is? No walking over there. <laughs> Dude. And this thing's a monster. Seven and a half, maybe eight. Sitting them in here. Somebody grazed him in the butt. That was probably me, because I think you just shot once on the hill, didn't you? Smoked his ass on that last shot. <laughs> First shot too. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know what. Both of them. Funny thing is, I seen him when we were up on that. Remember when I went off from you guys in glass a minute? Yep. But I thought he was little. I, I'm telling you, this is for a grizzly. Not gonna get much bigger. Eh. Straight I don't up. Don't care. It, it, you know, I told you that. I didn't care. Uh -huh. That wasn't my standard. But you might as well get it since you have it, right? What you said was, let's go kill the biggest bear on the mountain. Uh-huh, we did biggest that. Biggest boar. We did that. <laughs> I'm telling you, that thing ain't little. That thing is old. Old and big. And it is funny. We got everything in this hunt, didn't we? He uh, <laughs> laid in wait for us. He did, yeah. You told, you said, watch him. He's, he's staring at us. He's, he's going to ambush us. Wow. What a story back home. <laughs> I'm the only person in my family that hunts, so the only thing I ever did before was watch a YouTube on how to skin a deal. <laughs> it took me forever when I was almost puking the whole time. You were 11? Yeah. What yes, kind of deer was it? It was just a doe, white what tail. Point? Shot it all by myself, carried it back all by myself, and skinned it, and well, tried to skin it and get it and process it. Did you eat it? Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah. Great night to be alive. How you doing, Mr. JD? Atta boy. We made it to the false plateau. That's good. And all we got is a little bit of side hilling, just slightly up, and hit that ridge and get back to the camp. I don't know, I grew up watching like cowboy movies, and I grew up up here in Alaska as a kid in Glen Allen. And I've always liked the free lifestyle, like doing what you want, being a real man, just going for everything and not letting anybody tell you no. I'm watching the Pursuit Channel, watching all these hunting shows and stuff. And my favorite was always watching the people come up here and hunt. I was like, oh, that'd be so cool. Um, I wish, you know, I could do that, but holy cow, it's so expensive. So on and so forth. I had limiting thoughts. Come up here, be a pack girl, get my guide's license. And now I'm doing what I was dreaming of doing when I was a little kid watching John Wayne, Roy Rogers, all that, just being a free man, going after what you dream, only relying on yourself. Cowboy mentality, fast forward, doing what I watched the shows and dreamed about doing um, on the Hunting Pursuit channel. And then, yeah, I don't know, I just thought I wanted to do it and decided to make it happen. It took a little while and I'm that's how it kind of got me into it. Making way, Mr. JD. Think about monumental meals. Monumental meals you may have in life. Now, I got an idea this is gonna be a monumental meal. <laughs> this is supper for breakfast. Mm -hmm. This is the day after killing a giant trophy grizzly bear. This is a meal, I think about, uh, in 365 days a year, three times three, you know, and you got, uh, what, 900 meals? Uh-huh, you? Yeah. How many do you actually remember at a, at a, in a year? Uh-huh. This will be one. Oh, no, that's true. Just think about that it. Is Time true. and place. 
I tell you what's getting me more is uh, now that I'm getting older. Like, older, 20 to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the smell is like, I'll smell something, I'll be like, oh, that reminds me of my mama's potato soup. And you know, I'm not home very much anymore. I've been moved out since I was like 17. You know, you know what that is, Caleb? A micro adventure. That is true. Uh -huh. You smell that potato soup, you said, wow. That's a micro adventure. Uh -huh. Pack them in. Yeah. Pack them in. That's mama's potato soup. Don't let the bad get in there and you, you win. Mm -mm. No, it's, you got to look at the positive.